Hey there, how's it going? David in Arc here with you in Beam NG Drive. Today I thought it might be fun to take some of the new vehicles that came with the 0.27 update and hurl them down the revamped. Uh oh. Ski Jump Arena. Oh, <laughs> right into the barrier. Hey, but we managed to fall forward. That's the important thing right there. We, we barely made it, crashed into the lip at the top of the landing zone, but flipped ourselves into the landing zone and now just sliding on the ice merrily along the way. So what we're going to do is walk through uh, not every single vehicle that came with it, but just we'll grab some random samples of each vehicle type that came with the update just to mess around a bit and I, don't know, I, I love playing in the ski jump arena, especially this Spencer Johnson recreation homage to the original one. We are at 1,100 meters. We cross the line, and that is going to be about it for that little dude right there, the Otto Bello. There you go. That's right. So uh, let's jump back. Let's grab another one, and uh, we'll grab the unlimited class here, Auto Buggy. See how this bad boy does going down the hill. Oh, I will tell you the first one that we did was very slippy. Um, in fact, I had to pretty much accelerate straight out of the gate and uh, hit it going. But oh, there it is, blown engine. But we were cruising along. Ooh, I wasn't sure we were going to make it. Oh, keep flipping, keep flipping. There we go. Oh, yeah. Landed on the back end, but we are upright, and that is going to be awesome. That right there means that we should be able to coast for a pretty good while here in the landing strip since the vehicle ended up on all fours and all four wheels are pretty much intact. Okay, things are a little bent out of shape. However, it just so happens that they're both bent out of shape in the exact position they need for us to just keep on coasting as far as we can as we cross over heading into the 2000 meter mark and we're still going 70 miles an hour oh, oh we are drifting off to the side that's probably going to take a little bit of speed off of us but we continue to drive along here what was that 2400 meters oh yeah 25 and we're still going so i'm gonna guess based on my past experience this is probably gonna end at maybe 27 maybe oh well we're going back up the ramp here and there's 27 and we are slowly whew, well we barely crossed the 2700 mark but there you go hey an awesome job from the piccolina auto buggy not the Auto Bello, but the Auto Buggy. Although, I guess that's not the Piccolina. This is the Auto... <laughs> My brain is gone. <laughs> uh, it is the Auto Bello Auto Buggy. It is. That's, that's what it's called. All right. There's only three of these, so why not? Let's just go ahead, grab the last one here. Ah, look at this. I absolutely love the update uh the map that came with it the new missions that have come with it we'll be doing some more whoa okay we're a little out of control with this bad boy oh spinning twisting tur turning tumbling oh well definitely not gonna make it to the landing zone so let's just reset let me see if i can get a feel for what we're doing here come on gently all right Oh, nope, 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 nope. Yeah, the back end just wants to kick out. Uh, and, and that's a combination of how much power this little dude has on uh, combined with the fact that the surface is pretty much ice. So it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of slip, not a lot of grip. Um, trying to see if we can get ourselves turned around. Nope, that's not going to work. All right, well, I guess we can gently... Oh, and look at that. Let's see if we can climb. Can we climb to the top of the hill? Let me see here. N no, but we can get ourselves... Whoa! Turned around up on the two wheels. And... Uh, yeah, this... 
This is just not going well at all. Off we go into the wild blue yonder. Okay. Let's see. Can we do this? Some vehicles... Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Mm. Some vehicles you kind of have to coax and sort of let them kind of find their path down to the bottom. This one... I'm not sure what we're going to do about this one. All right. I think if we take this one more time, let's just see if we can get this bad boy. <laughs> I'm going to go with no. Not not at all, sir. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. Come on. Get around. Oof. Nah. All right. Well, for whatever reason... Uh, no matter what I try to do, I am not able to maintain control of that one. So that's okay. We're just going to move on over here to the Stambeco. And let's just pick one of these. There we go. Little army truck kind of dude here. And my guess is we're going to blow the engine about halfway down, man. Look at this. We are way over revving. Here, come on. It's got to come. There it is. Pop the engine. All right, so we take off at about 130 miles an hour. I don't think that's going to be enough. Oh, look at that. Just short of the, well, I would say the landing zone, but you got to get up over that lip, you know, even just to get there. And look, look at this crazy vehicle now. That is definitely compacted. Yikes. Oh, that is, that's rough, man. Huh. All right, let's try another one of these. Let's see if we can find one that will actually go the distance. Um, I think I want to try a six-wheel job here. Now let's see how this compares. All right. Maybe, maybe this will help us head on down. Once again, I'm pretty sure we're going to blow the engine pretty quickly. And there's not really a whole lot you can do about it other than to just turn the engine off if you don't want to blow the engine uh, going downhill, something like this. All right, we, this one we took off at about 130. Oh, wait. Oh, straight into the lip of the landing zone. Unlike the auto buggy, this one did not flip up over, and this one is pretty much a pancake. Not good for it. Okay. Can we do another one? You know what? Let's take this one's a rally version. I don't know. I don't know how that works. How do you have a rally version of a six wheel off road vehicle? I don't know, but here it is. But I'm thinking that perhaps because it's a rally version, the engine in it will uh, be able to withstand some more. Yeah, look at this. Oh, heck yeah. We're already going 160. Well, I don't know. 130 at the takeoff here as well. And oh, look at that. Scraped the. The, the top support bar on the bottom of the landing zone. That, that's got to be, that, that's, that's painful. That, that's disappointing. I can't imagine being the dude in the driver's seat when that happened. You're like, oh, I'm going to make it, going to make it. No, 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 I'm not, not, not going to make it. And no, and we didn't at all. all right, so let's move down here and let's do the Wydra. And we'll start off with an eight-wheel version. I definitely want to try the giant four-wheel version. <laughs> this thing is so small. <laughs> I mean, what would you expect, right? It's just a little eight-wheel, you know, off-road ATV kind of thing. Already blew the engine, and there's just no way. Oh, I can't even control this thing. There's no way this dude is going to make it across the way. But you know what? We'll have fun anyway. Taking off at about... 85 miles an hour or so and just falling forward and dropping off the edge and ugh, landing with that dull thud. Spinning out of control. Will we land upright? Yeah, we do. Look at there. Not bad at all. Managed to land upright. Can't complain about that. All right, let's grab another one of these little dudes and see what we can do with it. How about the custom version? Pop that bad boy in here. Take a look, and let's see if the custom version can do a better job. I don't think it's going to. I mean, crud, we popped the engine at 
less than 100 miles an hour. This thing is completely out of control. I've got no control. It is spinning wildly, slamming into the side, take off at about 50 miles an hour, and once again, plummeting to the earth below. <clears throat> Will we land upright in this one? No, not at all. Upside down, dead in the water. Okay, we got to try the four-wheel version and I think I'm going to go with the Mud Eater. Because if there was ever a vehicle that could cruise up on the snow, it'd be a Mud Eater. Why not? Oh, look at that. This is awesome. I'd love to do this. My father-in-law has a uh, a little four-wheel ATV. I think it's called a Gator. Oh, okay. This is not going to work. I'd love to throw something like these giant wheels on that. Okay, the wheels are kind of locked up. I'm not sure what's going on there. There we go. All right, so. Huh. Okay, well, this isn't going to work too well. Come on. You can make it. You can. No, you can't. Uh, and he comes to a dead stop at the top of the ramp. All right. Again, I, I believe. I believe. If I can maintain control. Ouch. Then maybe we can get this thing to fly off. No, nope, it just it does not. It does not like to play nice. Just can't do it. Now well, we're going backwards. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, and we threw off a wheel while we're at it. Ah, not a good time. Not a good time at all for the four wheel. Ah, Stambeco. All right, let's try. Here we go. Dune kicker. Yeah. All right, I'm going to start with the stadium version because I'm going to assume, whoa, ouch. I'm going to assume that the stadium version is going to have the best, oh, come on, high-speed engine for this. <clears throat> Listen, this is not going to work if you're up on your side. <laughs> and we tumble off the edge at about 17 miles an hour. 17, yeah. That's a, well... That's a slow way to go up until you hit the ground, and then you know, it's pretty instant at that point. Okay. Let's see here what we got going on. Engine oil critically low. Here we go. All right. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Come on. I, I just, you just got to kind of baby it until it can kind of figure out its groove. It's definitely got a groove at this point. We're going 160. We did not blow the engine. Oh, come on, come on. Nope. That is just not going to cut it. Okay, so maybe the stadium version doesn't have... Oof. Huh, doesn't quite have the, the power that I was thinking that it was going to have in order to handle what we got going on here. So let's go back down here. We will pick a different dune kicker. Let's try, you know what? Let's try the TT1. This is supposed to be the big bad beast of the bunch. So let's try the TT1. All right. Now, again, the big thing is going to be, can I maintain control of the thing as we head down, oh yeah, look at us go here. There we go, 170, all right, taking off at about 145 miles an hour. That should get us over, look at that, barely. Oh, dancing on the nose. Oh, and we are upside down, sliding on the roof. Any chance that we could grab just a little bit of something and flip us over? No, we're going to just Continue down the landing zone on the roof just to see how far we can get. It's not going to be too, not won't be too far. We are about to come to a grinding halt. Look at there, 900 meters. That's, that's barely worth mentioning in terms of distance. And when I do the ski jumping competitions, uh, that, that, that's not even qualifying, man. You might as well have just missed completely. Anyhow, moving on, let's go to the Rock Basher 
and we are going to grab this little bad boy right here. Once again, it's going to be the control. If I can control it and maintain that control the whole way down the hill, then we'll be okay, I think. All right, here we go. Going to blow the engine. No, we didn't, but we took off at about 130 miles an hour, and as we have seen, 130 is not enough to make it to the other side, and so... Oh, we plummet. We we remain upright on all fours, or what's left of all fours, but that's just not a good sign for this dude. All right, so let's go grab one of its closer cousins here and see if the Rock Bouncer can make it. All right, dude, you got this? You got this. You can, you can do this. Oh, 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 watch the wall. Oh, actually, this, this might work to our advantage. Kind of hard to say. All right, 175. That's actually, oh, yeah, 148 on the takeoff. This should give us plenty of clearance. However, we are upside down. Oh, come on. Flip over, flip over. Yeah, come on. Oh, man, we are on our side, and I it just it will not. Nope just will not find its way back upright on all fours and so we will continue to drive along well they went the 900 meter mark <laughs> I, can, I can give it some gas and see if we can get it turned around come on oh well a thousand meters we are smoking things not looking good for the rock Crusher, rock crawler, whatever this thing was called. <laughs> anyway, there we go. That is the end of the line for that little dude right there. Huh. Okay. Well, let's do some poking around. And uh, you know what? I, I, I think we need a special little holiday treat. And that treat is going to come by way of... i uh, got to find it. Where, oh, where, here you are. The T-Series Tasty Cola Christmas Special. That's right. This is a mod. Uh, the mod actually doesn't work correctly, but I went in and uh, messed around with the J-beams and stuff and got it to where at least it glows. It's still not exactly right, but that's okay. There's a dry van trailer that goes with it. Yeah, look at there. Pop that bad boy in there. All righty. And we will turn on the link ups and then come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, my truck spawned a little far forward. Come on, keep going. There it is. Ah, all right, here we go. Boom, look at that. The Tasty Cola Christmas truck rolling into town just in time for the holidays. Now, of course, you got to make sure you give it enough gas to get over the lip. Because the, uh, oh, there we go. That uh, gear at the front that holds the trailer up will definitely get in the way. But we are cruising along. I know we busted the engine, but that's okay. Taking off at about 160 miles an hour. Oh, come on, land. There we go. Oh, oh, we are floating, rolling, tumbling, slamming down into the ground. We lost the trailer. There's Tasty Cola skirting down the landing zone as the cab of the truck <laughs> keeps on keeps on flying we are sliding down can i turn the wheel can i get it turned back around come on there we go there we go no uh, no 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 we're not we're not doing ice capades here dude i guess maybe we are anyway we just crossed 1600 meters and that's probably about as far as we're going to get. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, so much fun. I absolutely love this mod, by the way, the uh, Tasty Cola Christmas truck. I just, what a brilliant idea when it came out. And uh, I try to incorporate it at least in a couple of videos around Christmas uh, each year. Oh, we are hanging. Look at that. Can we keep it going? Yeah, we can. Oh, yeah. Just a rolling down 
the ramp. Awesome stuff. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down by down in the comment section below. Ooh, buddy. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Oh, this is awesome. We're going to land upright. Yeah. Oh, slammed hard. I really wish we could have held onto the trailer there. Oh, that would have been so cool. We're being chased by the trailer, as a matter of fact. But anyhow, special thanks to Hero of God, Gamer Gall, Los Wilco, 7220 Gamer. Uh, we've got the Maestro of Madness, and it has to be done who all support the channel through Patreon and through channel memberships. I appreciate it so, so much. I'm David in Ark. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.